Hi there. I have a question for you. You know, one of my close friends, she is actually moving from the US to Australia and she's moving permanently, all right, for good. So I'm a little confused here. Is this emigration, immigration or migration? It's very confusing, you know, all of these terms. Do you also sometimes have a question like that? You know, what's the difference if someone migrates, emigrates, emigrates? Well, if you do, then you have come to the right place. Because today, we are going to do a lesson on the difference between these three words. Yes, your confusion is going to get cleared once and for all. And you are going to learn all of this with me, Sonia. So let's have a look and see what do we have. The very first word, okay, let's take this one by one and understand it correctly. The first word here is migrate, okay? Now, what does it mean to migrate, all right? Migrate, firstly, very importantly, is temporary okay it's not permanent remember this okay migration is temporary it's not permanent that's a big big point over there and migration has got to do with movement movement of people movement of animals of birds it's something which is very seasonal, all right? So let's look at some examples and understand this better. The very first one here, it says, certain birds migrate to the south in the winter. Well, yes, that's true. This is a seasonal change, okay? It involves birds and animals too. So what happens is in certain parts of the world during the winter it becomes extremely cold all right it's not suitable for birds or animals to actually live in that kind of a region so what do they do then just for that particular time okay that particular season they move to a warmer climate somewhere where it is much more feasible for them to live just for that particular time and then they move back to their original place of habitat, all right? So it is a seasonal movement, okay? Let's write that down. It's a movement which is seasonal. It's not permanent and it happens with birds and animals, all right? Let's look at the next example. Many people migrate for work to different countries. Do you have friends who migrate to work? I'm sure, I'm sure you do. I also have many friends who've migrated to other countries, maybe on a contract basis, you know, possibly just for six months. And then they're going to move back to their actual nations, the actual countries where they belong. So this is just for work, okay, it's temporary. It could be on a contract basis, all right? So maybe like a six month, a one-year contract, they have not moved to another country for good, just for a short period of time. So that will be called to migrate, all right? And I have the next example here. I have never migrated. That stands true for me. I've never moved to another country even for a short period. So I have never migrated, which means I have never moved to another country okay so let's understand this migrate is temporary okay it's not permanent it can be seasonal and it involves the movement of birds animals it could also involve people now another thing for you to remember here is migrate is a verb it's an action word all right and that's why i've used it in all of the sentences if you see migrate these are all verbs 
But what's the noun form? It's migration, all right? Migration is the noun form of migrate. Let's look at the next one here. It says to immigrate, okay? So what does it mean to actually immigrate? Immigrate means to move in, all right? And the next important thing you need to remember is to immigrate is permanent. Yes, that's the major difference between migrate and immigrate. Migrate is temporary for some time, whereas to immigrate would be permanent for good. Okay. Another thing to remember here is immigration happens only with people. Okay, birds and animals do not immigrate, all right? Remember this. So the noun form of immigrate is immigration, all right? Immigration. Let's look at the very first example here. The immigrants were very skillful. So who are immigrants? Immigrants are people who move permanently from one country into another country. So remember when I was telling you about my friend, okay, she's moved from her country into another country. So say if she moves from America to Australia, all right, for Australia, she would be considered an immigrant because she's moved into Australia. Remember this, all right? She's permanently moving, she's moved in, so she's an immigrant, okay? And the process is termed as immigration, which is the process of moving into another country. So remember to immigrate is permanent, it's to do with people. Next example here, when did you immigrate to this country, all right? So if, you know, you have people working with you or students studying with you who have immigrated into your country for good, all right? So you could ask them, when did you immigrate to this country? Which means, when did you move into this country? Okay? So immigrate is to permanently move. And finally, Immigration rules are strict in some countries. Well, yes, they are because obviously immigration is a major thing, all right? It's not something which is temporary. It's a permanent decision. There are a lot of checks that happen, all right? So immigration rules are strict in certain countries. Immigration is the noun form of immigrate. It's the process of permanently moving into another country. And then finally we have emigrate, okay? So what is emigrate now? Emigrate is also permanent, okay? So let's write that down. It is permanent, it's to do with people, no more birds and animals. And to emigrate means to move out, to exit out of a country. So remember, E for emigrate, E for exit. All right? So to emigrate is to permanently move out of your country. It's to do with people. The first example here, they are going to emigrate from America, which means they're going to permanently move out of America. All right? For whatever reasons, studying, you know, you get a job, you get married to someone from a different country, whatever the reason could be. So emigrate is again the verb form, all right? The noun form of emigrate is emigration. The next example, he emigrated from Australia after he got promoted, all right? So say if you know someone who was working in any country, in this case in Australia. And uh, however, he got a promotion, but he had to move out of his country permanently for good if he wanted to take up that promotion. So what did he do? He said yes, 
and he emigrated, he moved out permanently from Australia. Now notice over here, emigrated is the past tense of emigrate, all right? Let me write that. Emigrated is the past tense. And finally, the last example here says, emigration is a major decision to take. Obviously, that is so very true. Because when you move out of your country, the place where you're born, the place where you've been born and brought up permanently for good, that's a huge decision. It's a life-changing decision. So it's definitely a major decision to take. I've used the noun form here, the noun form of emigrate is emigration, all right? So let's quickly run through this one more time. Migrate is temporary, is to do with birds, animals and people. It is the movement of birds, animals or people, but on a temporary basis, it could be, you know, for a seasonal reason, for work and things like that. Immigrate is permanent, okay? It's to do with people. It's basically moving into another country. The noun form of immigrate is immigration. And who are immigrants? Immigrants are people who move into another country. And emigrate. Emigrate is also permanent. It's to do with people. And it's basically moving out of your country for good. Leaving your place of birth for good. All right. The noun form of migrate is migration, immigrate is immigration, and emigrate is emigration. So there you go, problem solved. We now have a clear understanding of what these words mean. I hope that you practice regularly and use these words correctly whenever you have to. Alright? Well, I'll be back soon with something new. Till then, you take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.